Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the television show Hogan's Heroes. I'm so excited that all of you are joining me today. If you're a fan of Hogan's Heroes, don't forget to check out my Hogan's Heroes playlist. It has tons of videos on the show, everything from bloopers, I go into the secrets of how they made the show, so forth, and a lot of cool facts and things that you will absolutely love. So make sure to check the videos out. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the actor Ivan Dixon. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you will know Ivan Dixon played the amazing, I loved him as Sergeant James Kinchlow. He was an instrumental, in my opinion, part of the gang. He was the radio guy. He decoded many different things from British English in Morse code to American English and so forth. Just some wonderful things. He essentially was the mediator between British headquarters and the unit that Hogan had at Stalag 13. Now, I really want to talk about him in regards to why he left the show. That is something that many people have probably asked and wanted to know, and there's a lot of things floating around. I always like to set the record straight with these things, so we just get the facts about what happened and always give the perspective of the actors themselves. Now, if you know, Hogan's serials spanned six seasons after which it was canceled. But before it was canceled, going back to season six, the entirety of the season did not have Ivan Dixon in it. They hired someone else in his place. His name was Kenneth Washington. And as a refresher, you may remember that he didn't actually play Sergeant James Kinchlow. He played another character, Sergeant Richard Baker. Now, what I do have to say about him, I don't want to touch too much upon Kenneth Washington, but I do want to know he was more of a placeholder than an integral part of the five, the five heroes that we all are just aware of knowing the group got essentially smaller and Kenneth Washington essentially played the radio role and that's it. It was very one dimensional and nothing compared to what Ivan Dixon did. Now let's get into the reasons why Ivan Dixon left. Now the reasons for him beginning and filming for Hogan's Heroes in the first place in regards to the pilot was very simple and he admits it, there is no beating around the bush. He simply said in 1967, the only reason he took the part for the pilot was I needed the money, plain and simple. He didn't even have faith that the show would be picked up for a recurring series. That is that it would continue throughout the year and so forth, even for a year, even for two or three episodes. He thought it was just a one-time pilot thing that he could get paid for. But when it got picked up, he was surprised that he was offered the supporting role of Sergeant James Kinchlow. Now, he found himself with a guaranteed income, and that was something that was not common for him. He had not three, but four children, that is by October 1965 that he was supporting and so it was something that he was very happy about and it became very comfortable for him. Now mostly initially, Dixon said that he was very thankful for his role as Kinchlow because it gave him exposure to the world essentially and it made him known in the television and film industry. However, as he began to appear weekly on television, it helped him get other parts later on. Now, this may not be surprising, but I don't know how many people know about this. It is worth saying everyone was very shocked when Dixon decided to leave the show because he was a fan favorite. People did like him on the show. Now, you have to remember that this was the 1960s. It was a time when black actors were very few in the mainstream media and the film industry. And when he took the part for the supporting role of Hogan's Heroes, it was truly monumental. It was not common at the time. He was one of the few continuing roles for a black actor on television in the mid-60s. So it was very, very interesting that he did get the part. Now going back to Richard M. Powell. Now Richard M. Powell was a writer for Hogan's Heroes. He was the one who previously knew Ivan Dixon. And when he they met at this workshop, they had a few meetings together. They knew each other. And he rewrote the pilot episode of Hogan's Heroes and added this character, Sergeant Kinchlow, and he thought that the perfect man to be cast for it was Ivan Dixon. Now I know all of you are saying, hey, this was great. He essentially had a golden child moment. He essentially was very well liked. People liked him. Everyone liked him on the set. Why in the world did he leave? Well, this is where Dixon gave us 
a little bit more insight into what happened. His role was supporting, as I mentioned, as a radio operator, and it was a straight role. In the world of comedy, this of course means that he didn't have a lot of funny lines or anything that was humorous, essentially, to the character. He was the one who played it straight most of the time. Now, while many of the actors, including, of course, Larry Hovis, Robert Clary, Richard Dawson, and the other heroes, they had a lot of funny lines. So Ivan at this time felt very unused. He was not being fulfilled, although it was enjoyable, in his career. He definitely wanted more. He thought it was a very good actor, and he was not allowed to be shown or let the world see that he was a good actor. So he came to the point where he said, what am I doing here? Five seasons, and he felt that he was not growing as a character. He was not growing in the part at all. And so he decided to essentially leave the show. He quit. As simple as that. And then he was, of course, replaced by Kenneth Washington. Now, now, not only was he an actor, and he did do acting roles after that, but he had a lot of directorial positions that he had with many popular TV shows. Some of you may actually know the Waltons, Starsky and Hutch, The Rockford Files, Little House on the Prairie, Quantum Leap, Magnum P.I., The A-Team, and many, many others. He was very successful as a director as well, but in my opinion, many people know him for his work on Hogan's Heroes. What do you think? Should he have left? Of course, it gave him more opportunities in the industry. I enjoyed him so much on Hogan's Heroes, especially when he would dress up as an SS officer. I think that is super hilarious. It added to the humor of the show. I wish they would have done that more. And yes, his character was a bit underused, but I thought he did get a lot of on-camera exposure. But what do you think? I'd love to see the comments down below. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Thank you so much for the support, and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all my supporters on Patreon, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Tommy G, Citizen Kane 359 Grace U, Sally N, David D., and Ricky. You can find exclusive content on Patreon at different tiers. Go ahead and check it out and thank you so much.